Good morning, welcome to lecture number 11, first global action. Okay, so until now we know how to make the script, the function, and now I will show you how to make the global action, so it will work on the background of our WinCC runtime. So we copy the first script, so it will be the same, and when we go to action, visual basic script editor, and we have the project modules, standard modules, and the actions. And the actions, we can set up the background running action, and this script is working in the, our background. So every time you have your WinCC runtime uh, turned on, this script can be running with your application. So sometimes you need to calculate something in the background, you need to check something in the background, you need to check something, and this kind of action help you to make this function, this script, always, always, doesn't matter if you have your windows open or not. So this is good option to have something running uh, every time, every minute, every year, every hour, yeah? So, we have our calculation script, it's function action, and as you see, it's action first back. In here we have, of course, let's save this, and we have the info and trigger action. This clock can make for us the creation by who changed, who created, uh, what is the password for the script. So if you have the password protected, no one without the password can open this. You can make the versioning of this. So if you prepare the script, it's version 1.0, but after someone change, you can say, okay, always change the version of the script. It will be 1.1, 1 1.2, etc. Of course, you can make some comments. It's in info tab. And in second tab, it's trigger. In trigger tag, you set up the how often this script should running. So you have the timer, so you have a cyclic. So you can say, I want to run this script only in this special moment. So you can set up the protection of your SCADA system. You give your SCADA and after three months, something should happen. You can set up it here. The second option is cyclic and here you can manage the standard cycle hourly, daily, weekly, monthly and yearly. So you can set up the every one hour, every one week or make uh, always in Sunday something. So you can, for example, make some backups on Sunday. You can make some every year so on the 1st of january you can set up something like mm, backup of your database or change something in uh, date and time settings okay i will use the standard cycle because i want to show you how it's working in wincc runtime so we have the cycles we have one second two second five ten one minute five minute ten minute etc. Of course you can make also your user cycle 1 until 5. So you can manage for example every 3 seconds something you can make. Okay and I will choose the 10 seconds for this but you have also possibility to work with tags. So if tag is changed or change the value from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0 if we have the bool value, you can set something in your cycle. Okay, now I will put my trigger, so it will be the standard cycle, 
and I will put the 10 seconds trigger. So I will choose the 10 seconds and my trigger name is 10 seconds. After I apply, on the left side of my action one dot back, I don't have any trigger, but after I save, it will be triggered. So I have the action and I have clock 10 seconds. Okay, and now this trigger is ready. Okay, my WinCC runtime is running. As you see, I, I don't have deactivated the project. So my script is running every 10 seconds from the start. I saved this. So I don't have any window opened. I don't have nothing opened, but my WinCC runtime is running and my scripting is running. So it's good to have this kind of options if you need to be sure that everything works every one minute, one second, 10 seconds, etc. It's good idea to have global action. You need to only remember that you can have a lot of global actions because it goes on the performance of your SCADA system. So after I click the first script, it's working the same like in global action. And after I deactivate my project, this global script will not work again. So I stopped my project, my WinCC runtime, and this global action doesn't work now. So it works from the start of your WinCC runtime until you deactivate this. Okay, thanks. Let's go to next lecture now.